Welcome to Bobby's Kitchen. Today we're going to make salmon with bourbon and brown sugar glaze. So stay tuned. Okay, the first thing that I want to do is I've got about four tablespoons of real butter and I want to melt that in a heavy skillet. I have a cast iron one here. And I also have some uh, brown sugar. I have some salmon steaks here. I've got probably about, oh, probably four salmon steaks. And I've also got some Evan Williams, Jack Daniels, whatever it is that you like, uh, some bourbon whiskey. As far as the ingredients for our recipe, that's it. So we're going to melt our butter here in our heavy skillet. I want to measure out about a half a cup of brown sugar. You can make more of this sauce if you want to. I just might uh, after I get my salmon going here. And for the whiskey, we're going to want about a third of a cup for the whiskey. Okay, we've got our butter melting on probably about medium heat. I don't want to get it too hot. You don't want to brown the butter, you just want to actually melt it. Okay. Okay, we've got our butter melted here, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and throw in our brown sugar. Stir that around a little bit. And this is going to be kind of a thick sauce to uh, put your salmon on to begin with. Then we thin it down a little bit with the bourbon. about six. And I think just so I have a little more sauce, I'm going to throw another two tablespoons of butter in there. So we've got a total of six tablespoons of butter and one half cup of brown sugar. So now I want this on about a medium heat. So I've got my stove turned to just about five. These are skinless. I did take the skins off of these, so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these in this sugary solution and I'm going to cook them for about five minutes and then I'll turn it over and add the bourbon. So you might ask, what are we going to have with the salmon? So what I've picked out is I've got uh, some of the German Riesling wine that I actually made. Uh, it was a kit. I didn't make this one from scratch, but it's really pretty good. So let's pour a glass and see what we got here. Here's our glass. So let's put some white wine in there. You can see this is pretty clear wine. I have not filtered this. So let's try some of our wine. It's good. It's not too dry. It's not too sweet. I said I would say that it's a semi-dry wine. It should go nicely with our fish. So I think now that we've cooked this for about five minutes on this one side, let's flip this over and then I'll add the bourbon. See the nice caramelization we have on there. That bourbon and that brown sugar together it just smells good. Ooh. So we're going to let this cook for about, oh, I'd say probably another five minutes or so. And we want to 
we don't want the salmon to be overcooked because if we do, then it'll end up being dry. So let's get our plates and stuff ready. So what we don't want to do is we want to reduce the syrup, the sauce and stuff, so it's almost like a syrup type consistency because we want to be able to spoon it over the top of the fish. want some of this sauce on here. It's got bourbon in it. Who wouldn't want some sauce on there? onto the plate. And like I said, at another time I'll have the actual uh, recipe for these. So there's our messy plate. So, and alrighty. There's our plate with our salmon and our vegetables and our potatoes. So thanks for watching. <laughs>